Hi everyone, this is Robin, and I'm coming to you a day late with my tutorial, but that's okay, you forgive me, right? It's been a really busy week. Okay, so for today's project, I'm going to be using my Stampin' Up! Big Shot. I'm using the Haunt You Later stamp set. So if you were in my Haunt You Later class this month, here's another idea to do with that stamp set. We're using the framelits, or the thinlets, for mini treat bags. I'm going to show you how to make your own little treat bag. And I'm going to show you how to watercolor using the aqua pens and your ink pads. So I've had some requests on how to do that, and I thought I'd show you today. So let's go ahead and get started. Push everything aside. Okay, I have my pattern paper, and I'm also using this Halloween um, designer series paper that we have that's in the holiday catalog. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using the magnetic platform. And then I'm using the regular sandwich plate. And I'm going to put this on top because I actually am going to have this for the opening. I'm putting that right here. And I'm going to stick my die right here face down so that it cuts. And let's put our other <laughs> sandwich right on top of it. And then I'm going to just sandwich it through. Now what I'm doing is I do it twice. So I go one way through and then I go back. And that way I am 100% sure it's going to cut all the way through. Okay, so let's put this down here and take this off. All right, let's see what we have. And we have one piece our cut. Here we go. There's the one piece. And we're going to use the rest of this paper. So we're just using a um, 6 by 12 piece of pattern paper for the cut. And here's my other little piece right here. So you take two pieces to make the one bag. Isn't that cool? Alright. Push it through here. Stick this on here so I can save my scraps and be a little frugal with it. Okay, run it through again. And run it back. And then we'll just set the big shot, big shot aside for the rest of the video. Okay. Like how that sticks there, you guys. Okay, now this is super easy to put together. There's creases for you already, so I like to fold my, actually I'm going to have it this way. I'm going to have this be my outside, this pattern paper. Um, fold this over if you want. Alright, now what I'm going to do is add this right here with some of the Terran tape. I love this tape. Where is it? How come I can't find it? There it is. We're going to put a strip of the Terran tape on here. And I love the tear and tape because it's exactly that. You can tear it instead of having to pull out your scissors and make a mess. Okay. I should do Halloween nails for this video, huh? Okay. I have this like here. And I'm going to just add it, just attach it right here so it's even. Let me make sure I'm doing it right. It's kind of hard with that pattern already on there. Okay. We just want that to line up right there and right there. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. And you guys like that that can just fold over. Let's use some more tear and tape. Super easy to use. If you guys haven't tried the tear and tape yet, I really highly recommend it. It just saves a lot of, <laughs> a lot of pain and anguish. And there's no static on it, you know, when you pull it off. Okay. And we add this here. I'm making it a little bit so it's not completely flat, so I can put something in there that doesn't have to be flat. And then we fold up the bottom piece right here and use a little more of the tear and tape on the bottom. And then we are ready to make our little front part. Look at how fast that was. Look at that. Isn't this the cutest little bag? So cute. Okay, so now... I have, I'm using watercolor paper that we saw in the catalog, and I'm using our new archival basic black ink pad that you can also get in the holiday catalog. And we're going to go ahead and ink up the cute little witch 
right here. This girl right here. We're going to use her. So ink her up. You're going to want to use the um, basic gray, I'm sorry, basic black archival. What's the difference between that and the regular is this is meant for watercoloring and oops, okay, I need to make sure. That well, the good thing about stamping is you always have another side <laughs> if you mess up. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, okay, this is like, here we go. If not, I will get another piece of paper. Ah! Okay, I'm going to use a different block because this is confusing me. I have her all different. There we go. I had her at a different angle and it was just with my head. Good thing I have another piece of paper. That's my editing trick. You guys will see it today because I'm not going to edit it out. Alright, here we go. Perfect. That's just how I wanted her. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the watering technique. This is the aqua pen and you just fill it with water and you're going to want, to want, you're going to want a piece of paper to kind of or a paper towel to clean this off in between. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use the lightest color. So I'm using the crushed curry. I'm going to use it for her hair and for the star. So you just squeeze your ink pad. Just squeeze it like this. Hello, I'm squeezing you. And then open it up and don't close it. Just lay it there and this is your little color palette to work with. And with your aqua pen, it has water on the tip. Just kind of pull a little bit away. You can pull as much or as little as you want. Um, and if you want to, I'll use it this my practice sheet. If you want to practice, you can. You might want to get some of the water off if you have too much water and not enough of the ink. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it on here. When I watercolor, I just do a little bit. I don't. I'm not that good at the coloring process, so <clears throat> that's all I do. And then I'm going to pull a little bit more, and I'm just going to color it on her hair. Okay, you guys kind of get the gist, and if you want it to look like it's like a different color, you can. I finished the yellow. I'm going to clear off my, just on a piece of paper. Okay, so all you need to do now is fold this over and finish coloring it. I'm going to use, what am I using the orange for? I can't remember. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I was going to use the orange on her dress, but let me pull that aside. Or maybe her eyes. I like making the orange for the eyes. Okay, while I have the gold out, I also should have used it on her eyes as well. I mean on her. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, so you guys understand the gist of it. I'll, I'll just keep coloring and talking and I'm sure I'll edit some of this out or, or speed it up for you guys. We're going to do the same thing with the frog and the green. You might want to test first to see how dark it's going to be. I, I really love water coloring. It's very ther therapeutic. If you need something to do that's relaxing, water coloring is definitely for you. Okay, so I have the frog on there. I'm just adding, like I said, just a little bit of color here and there. And I was going to use, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull in the orange on her dress. Actually, I don't want that. Hmm. Let me, let me decide. Hmm. No, I do want orange. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, old olive, and crushed curry. Is, are the colors that we're using. Okay, really? Okay, so this one I definitely want to test. Okay, that'll be pretty. Okay. So I'm going to make her dress. Usually I think witches probably have the black dresses, right? But she's like a little trendy little... She's like, I'm trendy. And I'm just kind of pulling it up right here in a way. If you see the color kind of fades off. And I like that look. That's the the look of um, true watercoloring. It's not all even. And some people just start on the outsides and pull in completely. Make sure I don't write on her hand. I did a little bit, but that's okay. 
Okay, so there's her pretty dress that I watercolored. Okay, I have just simplified this. I re-stamped it and I just wanted the yellow to be on here so you guys can actually watercolor and do it however you'd like. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. Okay, so now I'm going to, did you guys see I messed up? I messed up so many times. You guys would be, I don't know if you'd be happy to know how much I mess up or not, but I like just the pop of color. I like to keep it really simple. Okay, I've stamped the which way to the candy on the bag, because you know the bag's gonna be filled with candy, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to wrap this around here. This is the stitched satin black ribbon. Where are my scissors? I'm going to cut it. And then now I'm going to use my tape. This is the cheater method a different way. Just so you guys know. A lot of different ways to cheater method things. So it's going to be here. I'm going to wrap this around. Wrap it around. And you might want to wait till your candy's in there first to do this step. Stick that on here. And... I'm going to use my dimensionals. I just ordered, I ordered yesterday for my birthday class. Um, it filled up, we filled it up within 24 hours. It went kind of fast. Um, but when I did my order, I made sure that I added for my own personal use, like a ton of dimensionals. I seriously go through so many and I love, oops, I'm not gonna use that one. Except for that one, I don't love that one. But I've been using the dimensionals for many year, many, many years now, probably over 10 years, I'm guessing. Um, so I know that if I'm going to run out, I'm going to be in big trouble. So I made sure that I ordered plenty. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's just run this little ribbon piece through here. And cut it. And then we'll just tie this here. So it's kind of like a card. But it's not. It's a cute little bag. And these would not take very long to whip out a ton of these little bags. I'm going to cut that on an angle. Not my finger. Actually, I'm going to do a better job close up. Okay. And then over here, we're going to do this. There we go. Okay. So we have our cute little gift bag. And if you, like I said, want to add different colors. Or you could even use the Dracula on there, or the cat, or the pumpkin. Super cute idea. Okay, hope you guys have a happy Halloween. Talk to you soon. Bye.